Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Van Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be doing a little maintenance and changing the thermostat inside this refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on this blower and we're also going to be changing the thermostat that's down there. Look at these covers. Super dirty. Let's start by finding the breaker and turning off the power. All right, got the power off, we're clearing out the box right now. This is a thermostat right now. I worked on this and I did get this unit to satisfy at 40 degrees. I'm not sure if you guys could see it. I'll take a picture, but it's set to about 27 degrees or so. And that's how it satisfies at about 37 degrees, something like that. So right now the idea is to replace the thermostat. And while we're here, just look at that dirt it's really bad so I just want to clean this up a bit and do the right thing so let's go ahead and get started and change this thermostat first at the same time drop this cover just got a couple screws the other side's already taken off let's go ahead and take this one now let's bring it down all right all right it's looking nice and clean. What is that? Oh man. All right, we're definitely gonna have to give that a cleaning. Instead of cleaning this here and being super uncomfortable, here's a little plug for the power, which is awesome. So we could just unplug this. We could take this whole thing with us. Yeah. All right, so I mark this as left facing that way and mark this one as right facing that way so we know exactly how this is gonna go back. Even though you probably can't go wrong, you never know. So what I'm gonna do is actually take off both these motors so we could just rinse this all out on one shot and do a good job because this is really, really packed up. So we got a little nut back there. We can hold back. And on the opposite end, we have a little flathead screw that we can take over. So let's go ahead and remove these. Hold them back. And then I can take off this screw. Off that nut. Now this one. So now I just simply lift this off. And now this is free as well. So now we can wash this properly, wash and, and wash everything else properly. So let's go ahead and disconnect everything so we can really wash this. All that thick, heavy stuff, throwing it in the garbage. So let's wipe that down and then we'll clean it up in the sink. I'm gonna wash those covers in the sink as well as this fan motor. I mean, even the motor itself is dusty. It's gonna be a whole new unit when I'm done with this. All right, guys, that looks 10 times better. These are perfectly clear, almost looks new. This is 10 times cleaner. That's a beautiful thing. Let's go ahead and reverse the process and install this back. That looks absolutely amazing. It almost looks brand new too. Anyways, let's go ahead and reinstall this cover back on. This is the evaporator fans. And now let's change that thermostat. These are water-cooled condensing units. As you can see the water coil and the large water pipes in the back. This is all the refrigeration condensing units. So half of it is downstairs. This is our condensing unit right here. That covers just, this thing looks insane, honestly. It's terrible, but it is what it is and it does work. So this is our unit. And the other portion, of course, is upstairs. Let's go ahead and install this thing. Get a little cleaning inside here as well. This thing was terrible. All right, I think it's looking brand new. All right, so that's looking 10 times better. Let's go ahead and mount it up. All right, we can plug this back in. Now, let's kind of sit pipe, get it underneath. Hold up, wait, you gotta get the back on. Alright, let's 
put get the screws on. All right, here's that thermostat setup. Not the biggest fan of it, but it works. Let's go ahead and get started. We do have the power off. Pretty simple. All we have is two connections. Here's a new thermostat, and it definitely looks a lot better. Got two five sixteen screws over there. All right, this thing is out of here. Cool. All right, guys, this is it. Set the thermostat between thirty five and forty. Strap that up. Looks pretty good. Unit is nice and clean. Let's go ahead and start the condensing unit and make sure this box satisfies. Alright, so that part is done. Let's turn the power on. Compressor started, so the thermostat definitely works. It's calling. What I want to do is watch over this. And I got my guy upstairs. He's going to watch the temperatures with the doors closed while I watch the compressor. Once the compressor shuts off, we want to get a reading on that of the temperature. Hopefully it's it's somewhere between 35 and 40. I'd prefer closer between 35 and 37 so it satisfies at that temperature and then it'll kick back on at about 40 so it'll maintain that 35 to 40 degree temperature. So let's just go ahead and just give it some time. Got my multimeter here using the thermometer function. Right now we have 39.8.7 degrees Fahrenheit. You want this to range somewhere between 35 and 40. So Let's just wash the temperatures. And that's pretty much it. That was the job. Just gonna let that box satisfy. And that's all. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. I'll catch you all next time.